just had some pretty good news. Uh, as of November of 2020, had opportunity to sign to play over in uh, Germany. Currently, I'm uh, now in Berlin, Germany, getting ready for my season starting in June. Uh, I am a Berlin rebel, uh, so definitely excited to be over here. Uh, this is definitely an awesome experience and an awesome opportunity for me. Um, the GFL is a, is a great league and one that has some uh, history, has some NFL players come through this uh, the ranks, and I'm hoping to hopefully put my, myself in that situation as well. Uh, so just today, I just want to kind of talk about, uh, first off, this opportunity that I, I received and how I got it. Uh, so pretty much what I used was a site called europlayers.com. Uh, I was doing some research and realized a lot of people don't have a lot of YouTube content revolving around the GFL uh, from the state side. Uh, explaining like how to get to this process, what's necessary to get in contact with coaches, things of that nature. So I thought I'd kind of bring this out to you guys just to give you some of that information so you could be aware of kind of what's going on. Uh, so in terms of that, a website called europlayers.com. They have other ones as well that you can utilize, but Euro, Euro Players is probably the best because it you don't need to pay for it really. Like they have a paid subscription thing you can do to get more uh, notoriety, I guess, but there's really no need for it. Uh, it allows you to put your profile picture. You can put uh, your your accomplishments for college, high school, whatever it may be. Um, and it gives a good search engine for you to find different teams and different leagues, whether if you want to go to Spain, if you want to go to Brazil, if you want to go to Japan, any of these different places kind of has it all laid out in a way to email and reach out to a lot of these coaches. Uh, so I, I just kind of did my due diligence, uh, looked around, figured out what was the best situation for me. Um, I had some teams that were interested and that wanted to sign me. However, just through this COVID period, things were kind of difficult just getting everything squared away. But uh, I had a chance to contact Coach uh, Josh Mandel and uh, here at the Berlin Rebels. Kind of had a few conversations, definitely kicked it off great and realized that this would be a very good opportunity for me uh, going forward. So ended up uh, going forward with that and signing, like I said, in November, December time period was slated to come out here in March, beginning of March. However, COVID continually made things hard for travel from the States over to uh, to Germany. So I know this will, in years to come, probably won't be a, uh, as big of an effect because COVID hopefully will be gone by then. But at this moment right now, it was difficult to go get over here. So I got here about a week and a half ago, uh, currently now in my nice little flat out here. Um, the cool thing is, when you play overseas, you don't get a big salary. However, they do take care of you. They get you a nice apartment, get you some form of transportation, whether it's a bus pass or a car or a bike, anything like that. Um, not only that, then a lot of times they help with food. You, you do get some money from that, which is cool. So like there, there's a lot of different things that they do just to kind of make your transition very seamless, which uh, I definitely enjoyed. Uh, so the next I want to talk about is just GFL news. Uh, so in terms of uh, the GFL for this season, I know a lot of people were skeptical. Are they going to play? Are things actually going to happen? And uh, fortunately, they are. Um, we are a little bit behind because here in Berlin, uh, we are a little bit more strict in terms of COVID regulations. So it's made it difficult to kind of have our true practices and everything like that. Uh, however, we are planning to hopefully today get all that squared away so that now we can actually get out there, practice full go and get ready for our first game. Uh, so our first game is slated June 5th versus the Dresden, Dresden Monarchs. Um, so it definitely will be a, a big game, a good game for us. Um, and something I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, worst case scenario, we have to push it back and postpone those first one to two games just so that we can have enough practice time. But if not, hopefully we'll be able to start June 5th and uh, get right to it. So definitely uh, excited for that and uh, excited to get back on the football field. Uh, having a chance to be the starting quarterback for this this really awesome uh, organization is definitely going to be a fun ride. Uh, so pretty much what this video also is entailing is just the fact of hopefully I can make a nice little series. Like I said, I haven't seen too much information regarding the GFL and kind of what to expect, how the transition period and everything like that happens. Like I said, how to reach out to coaches and get the information you need. And then I'll definitely have like a, a little bit of a series in another video, especially including is it worth it? So as I go through the season, I'll definitely kind of give my honest take on what I think of this league, what I think of the athletes in it, what I think of the coaches and how kind of everything's run. 
Uh, so that's something I'm definitely looking to do and uh, something I think will be great. So, so far, so good. Uh, my first impressions of Berlin have been excellent. Berlin is just a, a beautiful city, very big, but very beautiful. Um, the only thing that is a little saddening is the fact of with their COVID regulations, a lot of things are still closed, a lot of activities and stuff you really can't do, uh, which is unfortunate, but I made sure just to take kind of the, uh, the uh, Autobahn around and just kind of take the train, take the buses and just kind of see some different places. So I'll probably have a couple of videos as well, just kind of showing just the sights and kind of what I get to experience out here as a uh, so hope you guys enjoy this nice short video. Uh, like I said, there's more to come and hopefully you guys uh, like this type of content and want to come back to see some more and see how my journey goes. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and you definitely want to see some more of this content and looking forward to you guys in the next video. Peace.